In this video, we're going to look at how to find the volume of a frustum, which is this odd looking shape. The key to this is to think of the frustum as a cone that's had its top bit chopped off. So a frustum is basically just a large cone that's had a smaller cone at the top taken away from it. This means that to find the volume of a frustum, all you have to do is find the volume of the imaginary larger cone first, and then subtract the volume of the imaginary smaller cone. The formula for the volume of a cone is 1 third pi r squared h. But to distinguish between the larger and smaller cones, we often use uppercase r and h in the formula for the large cone, and lowercase r and h in the formula for the smaller one. To see this in practice, let's give our frustum some numbers and try to calculate its volume. So looking at our formulas, the variables that we need to find are the radius and height of the large cone and the radius and height of the small cone. We can tell straight away that for the large cone, the height is 50 centimeters and the radius is 10 centimeters because we were given those in our diagram of the frustum. The small cone is a bit trickier though because we're not directly given its radius or its height in our diagram. We can work out the height fairly easily though, because it's just this distance here, which must be the difference between 30 centimeters and 50 centimeters. So it must be 20 centimeters. Now to work out the radius of the small cone, we have to think of the large and small cones as similar shapes and find out the scale factor between them. Because if we know how many times smaller the small cone is than the larger one, we'll also know how many times smaller the radius is. To find the scale factor, we can do the large cone's height of 50 centimeters divided by the small cone's height of 20 centimeters, which gives us 2.5. So we now know that the small cone is 2.5 times smaller than the large cone. And so to work out the smaller cone's radius, we just do the radius of the big cone, the 10 centimeters, divided by the scale factor of 2.5, which gives us four centimeters as the radius of the small cone. Okay, so we've now done the majority of the hard work, which is finding out our unknown radiuses and heights. And now all we have to do is plug them all into the formula. So the volume of the frustum is equal to the volume of the large cone, so one third, times pi times a radius of 10 squared times the height of 50, take away the volume of the smaller cone. So one third times pi times a radius of four squared times the height of 20. And if you're doing that by hand, that will simplify down to 5,000 over three pi minus 320 over three pi. So our answer would be 1,560 pi centimeters cubed. Or if you had a calculator and so wanted to leave it to three significant figures, that would be 4,900 centimeters cubed. Anyway, that's the end of this video, so I hope that's all made sense. If you want to practice questions on this stuff or anything else in science or maths, then head over to our platform by clicking the link in the top right corner of this screen, and we'll see you next time.